there, Loot fans! How's it going? Welcome to another episode of Loot Create DX here on Pastiche of Skin. Let's take a look at the inside. You may notice packaging has been a little bit damaged. I wonder what they've been up to. I think somebody was trying to steal the contents of this crate, so it must be sawing really good. Well, let's get a look inside. Oh. As always, Loot Crate DX has this wonderful little envelope thing going on, so we're going to slide into it, pull some of it out, and then go to the wide. Wait for it. Now we're in. On to the wide! How's it going, folks? What's the crack with It's good to see you again. Thank you very much for coming back to another episode of Passage of Skin and Loot Crit together once again for Loot Crit DX. Um, no idea what the contents of this crit is this month. This one arrived while I was actually busy working on changing the stuff up for the channel, so we're going to be <laughs> nicely surprised by what comes out. Okay, so... Uh, obviously, Mer's Edge Catalyst. I'm a little bit not surprised by this. Um, we already got a watch from Mer's Edge Catalyst before in one of the. Whoa! Okay, that's a bit of a change. So the um, the loot crate that we had previously for um, I think it was Dystopia was or no, it wasn't Dystopia. Was it the one before that? A wee bit back. Uh, had a watch, a digital uh, LCD watch for. Um, Mirror's Edge, and it was a nice, it was a, it was nice, it was a cheap LED watch, it's kind of one you like, give to my nephews, but this one, wow, this is actually a really nice, it's a, le it's a leatherette strap, with a nice design, glyph on the screen, I don't know, but that looks really, really good, I'm actually, hmm, I'm actually really surprised with that, ooh, I'll, I'll be wearing that bad boy, that looks really nice, <laughs> we are off to a Pretty damn good start here on the this one's Loot Crate DX. I mean, even the packaging is pretty solid. I, I don't, I'm shocked and surprised. Let's, let's see what the hell else is in here. And reaching in and pulling out, I'm not even going to see. Huh, ah. Someone from Fallout 4. As you can see. As you can see. See? Fallout 4. What is it to this one? Feels a bit lighter. Um, doesn't feel to be. Being sure to trick. Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap! Look at this! I uh, Nuka Cola branded on the side. Ah! Wow! <laughs> okay, so they feel very, very plasticky. That's uh, to be expected, but wow! An actual big pair of headphones. Almost too small for my head. They fit just about. But they are, there. it's like such a noticeable difference. They are properly kind of like well padded to actually isolate the sound. And of course there's a um, connector cable for them here, separate. So they're not even like tethered completely. Oh man. I really like those. And they collapse in just uh, for quick storage and carrying. So they actually are a compactable pair of headies. I would need to find out more about the quality of these. I mean, looking at them, they're not they're not amazing. Um, there's obviously a few scuff marks and stuff on these, but I, I don't care. These are these are for function and use. If there's scuff marks on a pair of headphones, it means they're actually being well used. But yeah, so be sure to try out your headphones in the wasteland with number one smash it Fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter to download for free today. So they're still promoting Fallout Shelter like a motherfucker. That's wow. Okay, that's actually a, a two for two on an actual like really really good crate so far. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm actually having to keep on looking without seeing. Chronicle collectibles. Aerodyne police counter. Chronicle. Okay, so that's interesting. A collectible toy car. Um. All right. Let's see. It's a loot crate exclusive again. So. I don't know what's actually, um, is Chronicle a, because I thought Chronicle was that movie with the kids getting superpowers. Um, I don't know what this is otherwise. Come on, open. Oh, box is a little bit tight. Tight box. So yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow. It's a nice wee display. It kind of, kind of looks like it's Fallout 4 themed with the coloring. And design it, but that's actually a nice little vehicle. Huh. I'm kind of impressed with that. So that'll be a nice wee collectible go up in the 
shelf. I think that might actually go up near. Does that front window open? That's weird, sir. I thought it might have opened and they'd been able to put a wee tiny like Lego guy in there or something. But yeah, that's um, a futuristic car. Kind of looks very wipeout esque, but I don't know what the reference, what Chronicles actually is. Um, are they? Uh, Sid Mead has been leader of an industrial and architectural design for over four decades. Can't think of the term futurist without him. All right, so Sid Mead, it's a, it's essentially a company who design um, collectibles and toys and figures and that kind of thing. And this is a Sid Mead designed car, which yeah, design was conceptualized and modified by the production studio to be featured in Blade Runner. So it's a Blade Runner car, right? Okay, well I'm obviously that's what it really looks like. Whenever I said uh, I was talking about Wipeout and anything else, it really does look like a vehicle from Blade Runner. That's pretty cool. So there, that is actually the wee text description that goes on the side of it. So, so far, this is actually pretty damn good. That's, that's three for three. I mean, like, oh, good enough figure. I don't, don't, I'm not expecting them to actually really get absolutely everything right, but that's the two items are really, really good. All right. Also, definitely this is a dystopia crate because this is an amazing art print. I want that on my wall as soon as possible. Yeah, Kurt Russell on Escape from New York. That is brilliant. I, I can't. <laughs> it was one of my favorite movie series, although admittedly Escape from LA is the first one I saw and then I went back to watch New York whenever I was a little bit older. But um, yeah, great movie series. There is actually a current comic series coming out of the of Kurt Russell's characters from Big Trouble in Little China and from and Snake Plissken from Escape from Movies meeting together in a comic book series. That It's actually worth checking out. I think the first issue is actually out live now, but you could, um, <laughs> if, you, if you're a fan of either, either storylines, then I really recommend it. Like, you're, you're not gonna be disappointed by anything. Um, right, what else is in here? Oh, shit, this one's a little bit heavier. I need to lean over it. Ugh. Okay. Oh, is this an art book? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. This is the kind of thing I would never buy for myself. I would never think to pick up one of these. Uh, most of the time, it's usually like, artist friends of mine that have like reference material sitting in their house. And I'll just paw through them and take a couple of snaps of them of ones that really interest me. But that is pretty cool. So this is the according to this is a Luke Critic exclusive, but I'm pretty sure there was a Bioshock Infinite art book already out. Like look at this out. Oh, this is a heavy book. So the art of Bioshock Infinite. A canary and Elizabeth. An introduction from Ken Levine. But yeah, it is, it is a big book. I mean, there's a lot of concept art and designs in here. But like I was saying, oh, that's, that's like Columbia just looks so fucking amazing in that. Try and get a better image of it. Oh, man. I, I love the look of Bioshock Infinite and that's the reason why like someone like this, I do like to have an idea of having it on my coffee table. Um, yeah, that, that it's big and heavy. It's a nice book. Admittedly, if it'd been a comic, that had been a graphic novel, I would have been cooler with that. But you can't. Beggars can't be choosers in that case. That was actually that's a pretty cool bloody gift. So what else have we still got in here? Oh yes, of course, our usual pamphlet and our loot pin for this month. Oh, this time it's actually hidden, so you can't see the loot pin unless you actually open up the bag. <laughs> That's brilliant. The reason why is because it's actually a badge with the actual police number as well. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a really nice pin for this month. Oh man. Yeah, the, the, this has been probably the best Loot Crate DX month so far. Um, between, I mean, between its first month, the Founders Crate, and this one. It's been very, very close. Um, I really, I really enjoyed the first script because it was actually the drinking glasses and the whiskey stones and stuff. But this is actually like a couple of really, really functional things as well. So of course we have our. Oh, just checking to make sure it's on special on this. Nope. So this is actually the same as always. I have their fold out kind of like deluxe flyer for this. And as you can see, we've got everything that we expect to have in the crate: the Blade Runner car, the police badge pin, our Fallout 4 headphones. Our Mirror's Edge watch, which is pretty damn nice. Uh, art book from Bioshock Infinite. And of course our art print of Escape from New York. That's, this has been a really, really good crate. Dystopia, man. Wow. 
it's, it's actually a really, really good dystopia crit. I'm gonna put these bad boys on, actually. So yeah, um, I needed a new pair of headphones, which is nice. I mean, I, I, they, this is the ones I would use for editing by any stretch of imagination. They're never, ever going to be for that purpose, but they're still pretty nice and comfortable. The uh, watch is... Who wears watches anymore? But if I have to wear a watch, like if I'm going to do a formal occasion or something, I'd actually wear this one. It's, it's quite nice. The design strap is a bit understated. It's just a simple, functional watch. Yeah, man. Couldn't, couldn't beat that. That's... That's... This is exactly striking the balance of what I was hoping would happen with the Loot Crate DX. Uh, the Loot Crate DX last month was very, very much a DX version of a normal Loot Crate with the hats and the clothing and whatever else. I was really disappointed by that because I actually preferred the um, more mature idea behind being the DX because it is a more expensive crate. It's one of those ones where it would be really nice if kids had the disposable income, but this is really obviously being bought by parents. And if it's being bought by parents to give to their kids, it feels like a bit of a waste. The first crate had whiskey glasses and uh, uh, chilling stones, which obviously <laughs> are pushed towards adults. You're not fucking getting those for kids to sit and play with. Um, I think that's way, what they should really distinguish the DX crate as. Definitely a crate for a mature audience compared to the children that are going to be happy with branded clothing with absolutely everything, or posters or stickers and that kind of thing. Things that they can stick up or whatever else. Things where. Wearables are alright, especially things that are um, falling into the le level up purview, like um, dresses for girls or um, jackets for guys. You know what, actually, if you threw a leather jacket inside a Loot Crate DX, I'd honestly go like, right, if you manage to get one that's my size into that damn box, I don't care if you put anything else inside that box. Um, admittedly, everybody would be wandering around wearing the exact same Wolverine jacket, I'm sure, but it'd still be perfectly fine. <laughs> That's, this has actually been a really, really good crate. It's put me in a really good mood. Um, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think of the items that were in this crate. What do you think of the Loot Crate DX brand? Have they got, have they finally, have they finally nailed it with this? Have they kind of, uh, this could have been a Loot Gaming crate, but it's a Loot Gaming crate with apparel and items that are a little bit more adulting, I suppose in the best way to describe it, or more deluxe in a lot of ways. Is this the direction they should go in? I believe so. But make sure to comment underneath and tell me what you think. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been Durham for Passage of Skin. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.